Welcome guys, it's Ayla here and today I'd like to show you how you can generate snow loads in Arfa. As a model we have here a steel hull with hole frames and truss upper cords. We can find up here on the tools generate loads and then we choose from snow loads. Depending on which type of roof you have, there are two options for two basic roof type structures. We can either choose a flat mono pitch roof or a dual pitch roof. For today's example, we have a dual pitch roof. And now with the snow load generator, it's possible to assign the correct snow load according to different standards. For example, the Eurocode, which we are going to use for this example. In the new dialog box, we have then the option to enter all necessary parameters, which are important in terms of determining what the load should be according to the Eurocode. For this, we have, for instance, snow load parameters or geometry of the roof and load cases or load types. What's very helpful is that bitmap on the right side. The program suggests here all parameters so that we can find the components that we need in this picture. The first thing that we have to define after choosing the standard is the national annex. For today's example, we will choose the German one, but as you can see, depending which one you need, there are so many other options. Based on the German National Annex, we have to define the snow zone. And again, the program has here an additional tool so that we can open a map if we click here, which contains for today's example, the German snow zones. We will leave the other components as they are set on default. And moving on, we can find on the right side here the option additional snow loads. And if it's necessary, we can determine a drifted snow load or we have also the option for snow overhang or snow guard. The next step will be to select the corner nodes as the program suggests here in this picture. And if we click on this button here, we can simply select the six nodes of the roof out of the model. Now on the load cases to generate, we choose the load case snow. If we have already defined the load cases, if not, there is also the option to create a new load case. As load type we have member loads and down here we can remove the influence from either single members by individually clicking them or we can use this option here so that all members which are parallel to a reference member will be excluded from this load. For example we'd like to exclude these members between the top cords here. All we need to do is just to select one of them and the other ones are getting excluded automatically so that they are not considered for the load anymore. Then we click OK and the program will generate the snow loads as they are displayed graphically here on our model. So guys, thank you for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.